Hi, my name's Dan. Today we're going to see how you can use a 3.00-8 tube and two different types of tires that are not that same size. One of these rims is going to be used on a Pride Pursuit XL or a Pride Victory XL, and it's a 13 times four. The other rim is going to be used on a Drive Cobra GT4, and it's a 14 times four. Even though those are different sizes, you can still use this tube in both wheels, and I'll show you how. First thing you want to do is remove the valve stem from the tube. We'll start with the Drive GT4 wheel. Probably want to get a valve removal tool. And you really only need two simple tools, a uh, hex head wrench and an Allen head wrench to split the rim apart. First thing you wanna do is take the hub off the side of the rim. Okay, once you have the hub off the back side of the rim, you can go ahead and take apart the rim and you want to use the Allen head wrench for this. Now the first time it may be really hard to get these loose, but if you just give it a little crank, they should come out pretty easily. And just like a car tire, when you change it on your car, you want to go in opposite directions when you remove and install these bolts. Okay, now that you have all of your hex bolts taken out, you can go ahead and separate the rim and remove the tube. So as you can see, the old tube had a rim strip installed to it. That's just because it's a factory tube. They don't really need these rim strips. They're only usually used on bicycles with spokes. New tubes will not have them. Okay, so here's our rim that we're going to install the tube back on. Again, you want to make sure you see this little groove in the rim that the uh, valve stem is going to sit on. So when you're looking at it, the valve stem is going to be pointing up so it's oriented correctly on the right side of the rim. Sometimes helps you have a little bit of air in the tube like this one had in it. Helps it sit down below the lip of the rim so you don't split it when you put the rim back together. Now, yeah, just a little bit of work, you can just tuck it down in there and just make sure it's not hanging over the lip of the rim. You don't want to put it back together and put air in it and have it rip apart on you. Okay, so once you have that done, you can go ahead and put the rim back together. Just be aware of where the bolts go on the side of the rim. Always like to check before I ever put the screws back in that everything is not in between the two pieces of the rim. Assembly is the opposite of disassembly. Again, you want to go on opposite sides of the rim when you put these screws back in and snug them down. And just like a car wheel, when you change it on your car, just snug them down the first time and then you're going to give a little bit more of a tightening once everything's snug. Okay, so we have our rim back together. Next, you want to put the hub back on. Again, when you reassemble, you want to go opposite sides on tightening these things down, just like on a wheel. And there you have it. You have your wheel reassembled with the tube in it. Next, you want to just fill it up with air. Usually 35 to 40 pounds on most scooter tires. Now that we're all done with the Drive Cobra GT4 wheel, we'll go ahead and move on to the Pride Victory and Pride Pursuit XL wheel. Again, first thing you want to do is remove the valve stem, get the air out of the tube. Turn it 
turn it over. This is where you'll see your hex bolts. These are pretty tight when they come from the factory. They do use a medium Loctite on these. You don't really need to install it with the Loctite. So it may take a little bit of effort and it may click when you first remove the bolt. Don't worry about that. Go and take the rim apart when you have all your bolts out. Again, you'll see the tube is oriented down in that groove on the rim, just like the drive cover wheel we just looked at. Go ahead and remove the tube. Insert the new tube. Valve stem facing down. And put the rim back together. And once again, tightening the bolts on opposite sides of the wheel. Once they're snug, you just want to give each one one more little turn just to tighten them down a little bit more. Okay, the rim is reassembled, ready for air. And there you have it. Now you have your Pride Victory and Pride Pursuit XL wheel with the 3.00-A tube reinstalled, ready to go back on your scooter. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.